18,000 feet up, the Dorniers set their sights on the formidable flagship Roma and release their bombs. Two smash through the armored decks of the Roma and explode inside. One ignites her magazines, causing a catastrophic blast that literally splits her in two. She sinks almost instantly, taking nearly 1,300 crewmen with her. Her sister ship, the Italia, is next. Badly damaged, she just manages to stay afloat, but is out of action for months. The Allies are amazed. How could only a few bombers be so devastating? They don't realize they've just been introduced to one of the world's first guided bombs, the Fritz X. The world's first smart bombs were German smart bombs, and they were extremely ingenious. The idea was that you would carry the bomb up aloft, and instead of just dropping it, you would steer it to its target. Just think of that. The Fritz X is a huge leap forward in smart bomb technology. It doesn't use animals to guide it. It's radio controlled. A 3,000 pound bomb, it's fitted with a tail section with movable fins. It's designed to be dropped from a distance of three miles while still approaching its target and from high altitude, around 20,000 feet. It gathers momentum as it falls, reaching a speed of nearly 700 miles per hour. Aided by a flare in its tail, the bombardier directs the Fritz with a joystick attached to a radio transmitter, which sends guidance signals to the bomb's tail fins. By making minor adjustments, the bombardier can keep the weapon on track all the way to its target. The bomb's nose is heavily reinforced, designed to smash through armored decks, while a fuse delays detonation until it's deep inside the ship. The idea being that the bomb would then explode perhaps in the engine room or possibly even in the magazine and cause terrible devastation to the ships.